Hello everyone. We will show you how to create a control diagram. In this example, we will start from this outgoing on the drugstore project, sub panel 1. Select the circuit breaker and go to distribution, control circuit, create a control circuit. Then, in the documents tab, click on add a control sheet. A new worksheet has been created for the control diagram. This worksheet is visible only from the diagram tab. Now we will add a cross reference. Go to the control menu and click on add cross reference. Select it and click on OK. The cross reference is being placed in front of the red marking. After this, we will draw the wires. Click on draw wire. Now we will add a time switch. Go to the catalog and enter the keywords to find the product. Use the filters to refine your search. Click on add. The default symbol is inserted into the diagram. If you wish to change this symbol, right click and select the one you wish to see on your diagram. We will select for example the one with one channel only. The second channel that is still available can be moved to another place. Then, a contactor will be added. Go to the catalog, enter the keywords, and use the filters to find the right product. Click on Add. The product is inserted into the diagram. Again, the default symbol will be changed. For this, right click and select the symbol you wish to use, for example the coil only. The two remaining contacts will be used later in the power diagram. To delete them, press the escape key. Then, you can draw your wires. Now we will go back to the power diagram in order to add the two remaining contacts. All the unused products are being stored inside the project store. Select the symbol you need and insert it into the diagram. You can zoom in the diagram using the display menu. We can see the contactor and the cross reference that indicates that the coil is on worksheet 3, marking D6. Back to the control diagram, we can see that the power contactors are on worksheet 2, marking C3.